In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to stream on Xbox using an Elgato capture card in a Mac. So the first thing you're going to need is the Elgato capture card. I have the HD60X. Another thing you're going to need is a HDMI splitter. I have the Rocketfish 4K HDMI splitter, but any HDMI splitter will work. Then you're also going to need your Xbox. I'm using the Xbox Series S. And you're also going to need your MacBook with two USB ports, so one on each side, one right here and one right there. And the last thing you're going to need is three HDMI cords. Now that you have everything you guys need, I'm going to show you guys how to set it up. So the first thing you want to do is plug in your power cord to your Xbox and then plug it in. Now after you have your Xbox plugged in into the wall, then you're going to want to grab your HDMI splitter. I have this one linked in bio if you guys want one. So you're going to want to get your first HDMI cable from your monitor. And you're going to want to plug it into your output number two. Just like so. And then you're going to want to grab a second HDMI cable right here and you're going to want to plug it into the input like so and you're going to want to plug the input one into the back of your xbox so just plug into the back your hdmi slot so after you have those two hdmi cables plugged in you can just i'm just going to shove these cables back here my cable management is trash so after you have these two hdmi cables plugged in you're going to want to grab your power cable for your hdmi splitter box and then just plug that in all right so now you're going to want to grab your elgato which i have the uh, hd60x this one's really good. This is captures 4K. Then you're going to grab your third HDMI cable. And then you're going to plug it into the HDMI in on your Elgato. And then grab your USB-C cord and then plug it into the middle. Like so. Then you're going to want to grab your MacBook and go over to Streamlabs.com and download it. And you're going to want to download the Mac version of Streamlabs. Once you download it and open it up, it will look something like this. And now you're going to want to add a source. So you just hit this little plus sign right next to source right here. After you hit that plus sign, you're going to have this window pop up and you're going to want to hit the video capture device. After that, you're going to just name your source. You can name it Elgato or whatever you want. Now, after you name your source, this window will pop up and you're going to want to make sure that your Elgato HD60X is selected. Once you select it, you can resize your screen to however big or however small you want it to be. Now, this isn't a need, but it will be very useful when you stream on Xbox. This is a Chatlink Pro cable. So the Chatlink Pro cable just makes it where your stream can hear your party chat audio. So it'll just make it a better experience for the viewer. Okay, so we have the computer set up with Streamlabs and we have everything connected. Now, the only thing left we have to do is connect our Chatlink Pro cable. And this makes it where you, the stream can hear your party chat and your friends talking. It's very simple to set up. All you have to do is just plug the single cord end into the Elgato and then plug the double cord end, the male, into your controller and the female into your headset. So there you go. There's an easy step-by-step -step tutorial on how to stream with your Xbox using a Mac and an Elgato. Again, I'll have all these products linked in the description if you guys need them. Hopefully you guys like the video. If you guys have any questions over this, just comment down below. If you guys like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. Have a great day. Peace out.